always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, the sun was eclipsed for a little while today, but it'll be back tomorrow. The question is, how hot will it be? <laughs> It's going to get hot. I mean, I think um, we're talking near 90 here by wow. Thursday. But just like last week, we're going to fix that with a cold front coming through. This is, uh, you know, uh, getting very late this time of year to get these fronts coming in to really not just lower our temperature, but our humidity. So get ready for that because everything's ramping up until that happens. So we'll time it out for you as we head through the next few days here. 80 degrees. That's all we managed today. So nice and comfortable, perfect low temperature at 69. That's where we should be this time of year. No we're near the record of 92, but uh, we'll get close to 90, I think, by Thursday uh, with uh, highs in the upper 80s. It'll feel like in the 90s because of the humidity. Look at the radar network, pretty quiet, uh, but temperatures right now nice and comfortable, 73 in the Homestead, there's 74 to Miami. Let's widen out so we can see where our weather is coming from here because despite the fact that the cold air is still bottled way all up to the uh, north and west of us, that eventually will kind of make a run at us and we'll get temperatures uh, nice and cool, I think, heading into uh, the weekend, although, you know, we're running out of weeks here before that happens. This kind of trough you see here, this dip in the jet stream, that becomes more and more rare. The jet stream leaves us be and heads up to the north, and so we get less storms here. But uh, we will get into that ridge by the time we get into the following week. So it's topsy turvy as far as the temperature. So once we get into um, Wednesday, I think you'll start noticing the humidity climbing a, a little bit here. And then showers and storms on the way for Thursday. Nothing severe as I see it right now, but we could uh, have a pretty good band that rolls through here Thursday afternoon, evening timing, still uh, precise timing to be determined. I'll show you that on rain tracker. Very gusty winds that uh, will get ready for either wind advisories, certainly small craft advisories. Uh, not a good uh, boating situation here as the winds each and every day will continue to pick up some speed here. Dry, less humid for Friday. We'll wake up to clouds and a couple showers from that same front, and then it goes away for the weekend. Another perfect timing here for Saturday and Sunday behind that front. Cooler, less humid, and uh, just going to be uh, dry as can be, sunny skies. A couple little showers. Your notice is here, nothing to do with the front. This is just uh, moisture coming off the Atlantic. And then eventually we'll get into that south to southwest wind. That's what's going to ramp up temperatures heading into uh, Thursday. And before the front arrives, that'll be the warmest day. There it is there right uh, on the uh, doorstep here. So that's Thursday, 4 o'clock. So that would put it here, say, around 8 p.m. So it's going to be a late day event on Thursday and then early Friday. Rip currents will continue on the high side because of the winds tomorrow. It'll be another breezy day for us here. And then your seven-day forecast will show that rain chance, showers and storms late Thursday, early Friday. Friday, just a few leftover showers and then clouds and then clearing. Perfect weekend with overnight lows, nice and cool in the 60s.